Hello there, short friends. Today I'm going to tell you about another project I've got going on. This is a walkie from a gentleman named Chris Knutson. And some time ago, Chris reached out to me and said, Hey, thanks for making YouTube content. I made you a wakizashi. Do you want it? And I said, Yes, and thank you. And that's that's kind of where this began. So um, I hadn't heard of Chris before. I've been looking him up. He's, he's done some designs from Spyderco, but I don't know if he makes swords or not. If, if he does, then uh, he'd be worth reaching out to because what I'm seeing here is, is very competent work. Um, anyway, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the sword, what I'm seeing here, my plans to mount it. Worth noting that I don't do any of the work myself. I send it off to talented craftsmen, so this series will be my reactions and blabbering about my plans and, and if I'm happy or not, and it's, you know, frankly, I'm, I'm not usually unhappy. I work with very talented <laughs> craftsmen that usually keep me very pleased. So anyway, um, a little bit about the blade. Well, uh, it's a cable steel blade, but it's been folded. So I did some videos a while ago on swords from Michael Bell and one from Christian, Christian Griazzi, and uh, they had a cool snakeskin pattern. And Chris mentioned that this is made out of the same or similar cable steel to the ones used in those swords but he folds it instead of just twisting it. So apparently if you twist the cable too much, it can resolve the issues with those inclusions and pockets that you may have seen on the other reviews that I did, uh, but the steel will remember. And then sometime later, uh, many months after, after it's been, uh, you know, manufactured and polished and done, it can twist and that can be, that can be very problematic and sad. So he folds it and that removes kind of the inclusions and then the steel doesn't, I guess, act unruly. So uh, what I see here, though, is just a really beautiful pattern. It's got this really bold zazzy. I like I like zazz in my swords. Moku Mehata on the on the Shinogi G kind of running along the line. I don't see a Hamon, but Chris has told me there's one there and that it's, it's probably going to be subtle, just kind of a byproduct of, of the way the steel acts. And I'm, I'm anxious to see it in kind of final form because what I see just in this heavy etch that's on it is really, really, really cool looking stuff. So um, it's a folded cable steel blade, which is all sorts of cool and new and just not something that, that I've seen done before. And I'm anxious to see, anxious to see it, anxious to swing it. And, and I will get to do those things, which it's just <laughs> not, not today. Um, plan is I have a, a Hondachi set from Hyper Cafe that will work pretty well on this. Uh, it doesn't fit any other katana. This stuff from Hyper Cafe tends to be a little bit on the narrow side. This Wakazashi is a little on the fat side. I think they're actually going to, going to fit reasonably well together. So I'm going to see if I can mount it up in a similar way to my Hanwei bamboo mat that I had done, my own kind of personal blade, so to speak. And this will be a companion piece for it, which I'm, which I'm happy about. I, I, like, I like the pairing there. So um, I don't know if they're going to fit, but that's kind of my plan now. I don't know if I will do black with kind of gold swirly mitsudomes or if I'll do something a little different. I'm not, I'm not married. I'm not a person that thinks the Daisho has to look the same. Um, I don't mind if they, if they look, you know, very different, but they'll have at least potentially similar furniture and be bedazzled with swirly mitsudomes in such a way that, that only I could love them or, or somebody equally infatuated with swirly mitsudomes. Anyway, um, beautiful sword. It's, I like how it's got like little shoulders down here. Just a lot of dimension and, and depth on the sword that I, 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 I think is great to see. I'm, I'm really looking forward to how it's going to look. Uh, once the Mystery Man in Black has gotten it and, and zazzed it up and, and given a set of new clothes and all that, I'll send it off to Josiah Boomershine to have done up. Uh, he will get it polished and and then it will look really cool and then I will take it out and cut with it and play with it and do all that kind of stuff and I'll I'll keep it around. It's supposed to be similar in in how it acts to 1095 so Josiah might might be unhappy about that because that means it's probably going to be hard to polish but anyway that's that's my tentative plan. That's what I intend on doing with it. If you have some thoughts or ideas about what I could do I know that sometimes we um, <laughs> we don't know our own character <laughs> as well as sometimes other people do. I'm thinking about swirly mitsudomes. Is there another thing that, that, bear in mind that this is my personal stuff, right? That I plan on uh, keeping this and using it as, as a walkie for training and such. So it, it's gotta be functional and, and hopefully have some swirly mitsudomes on it, but I'm not, I'm not married to any particular idea just yet. Those, those are just fittings that I happen to have and that I think would fit me. But if you have some ideas on, on how it could look or what would be cool, I'm anxious to hear them um, because I'm, I'm thinking maybe a match to my bamboo mat, but Maybe I could go a little little zazzier, a little different. Not entirely sure. Anyway, uh, that's a project that I got going on. Hopefully it's interesting. I want to also give a special thanks to Chris Knutson for sending this my way. It is a, a magnanimous and generous thing to give somebody a sword that you made. There's there's a lot of hours in, in not just making it, but in the in the time spent to get the skill to make something like this and uh, and and to send it my way. <laughs> it's uh it's humbling and and I, I appreciate it thank you thank you genuinely this is it's beautiful work and i hope that i can do uh do it justice in the the mounting and, and finish work that's going to go into it so anyway uh that's what i got i hope it was interesting cheers and thanks for watching